Cam, just what's worked out so well for you guys uh, on special teams when it's come to returns? Obviously, you guys have two against Kentucky. Uh, not just when it's come to just return the ball, but from the, just the way things have been set up, which has been so good for you guys from on return teams this year? Uh, just the execution overall. Um, guys up front are doing a great job for the return game, you know, to spring things and, and make plays. Uh, credit to, uh, you know, our special teams coaches, Coach Meyer, Coach Elder. Um, we're probably one of the only teams that, like I said, practice special teams each and every day uh, throughout practice, and it's, it's been showing up for us throughout, throughout the games. Cam, is it a you decision whether you feel the punt or Alvin comes in? Does it just depend on how the defensive series, how you guys can set up? Uh, just whatever coaches, you know, decide wherever they want back there. Um, at the time, you know, we're, we're both capable of making plays, so it's not really, it's not a drop off from either of us or back there. Um, just whoever they want back there at the time, it's whoever goes back there. For Cam, I know it's still early in the week. I'm just wondering on film you've seen of South Carolina. Do you notice any change in their offense? Anything they're doing the last couple games since the coaching change? Uh, they're playing, they're playing pretty well, actually. You know, um, Farrah Cooper, obviously a big uh, part of the offense. Um, guy makes a lot of plays for them. Uh, Wild is a running back. Uh, they make explosive plays as well in the run game. And they also use them in the pass game as well. Um, quarterback did a great job of just facilitating and, and getting the ball to those guys, you know, spreading the ball around. Um, they're big up front, you know, um, very physical up front. and. Uh, you know, they're, just, they're going to try to build points like any other team, so. Cam, you mentioned Farrow. Just what do you remember about dealing with him last year? Obviously, you know, he scored a couple touchdowns on you guys. What makes him tough to defend? They move him around, and, um, you know, they just find ways to get him the ball. Patrick? Cam, you had a chance to talk to Emmanuel after, you know, his targeting ejection. How does he kind of handle that? I know he'll get it back in the second half. Uh, still energized, same mindset, you know, uh, we felt like it wasn't targeting, um, but you can't do anything about the call now. Um, still locked in, focused, be ready to go this week, still want to practice, still going to be in the game plan and, and, and get the same, you know, coaching and, and film study as well, as, as well as practice reps and be ready to go to second half. Josh, you would talk just a little bit about the, uh, the the bomb that connected for the touchdown, and also uh, how are you holding up physically? Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was a big play. Um, we were able to pick up the, the bar reset pressure, and we were able to pick it up up front. Jalen did a great job of coming across and picking it up, and then Malone just made a play when the ball was in the air. So it was a big play for us. I mean, they just got down and scored uh, on the long drive, so it was great momentum for us. And uh, physically, not feel, I feel great. I had a good game. Saturday didn't take too many hits, so. I'm just moving forward, taking it with my lead. Cam, what does it do for the defense when every time, or really for the whole team, when every time Kentucky scores, you guys were able to answer whether it was the offense coming back out with a big play or on special teams? Um, that, again, that's just going back to complimenting football, you know, playing together in all three phases. Um, when we get explosive plays on offense, um, we just feed off there on defense and, you know, have the mindset that we now we have to make an explosive play. We have to get the ball back to those guys so they continue to make explosive plays as well as the special teams. You know, special, special teams has been a big part of us this year um, and have been a jump start on offense and defense as well. So anytime we can make explosive plays and, and help each other out on all three phases is always good. Josh, you mentioned not taking any hits Saturday night. Do you, you know, try to balance that in your mind between they should not try to get an extra three yards here and I need to look to get out of bounds? Does that come up or do you just do not think about that? Just out there playing football. I mean, obviously, you know, you got to be smart. Um, there's times, you know, you scramble, you know, third down, get a first down. There's not really nowhere, not really anywhere else to go. You just run out of bounds. So um, it's just about, you know, being smart, understanding um, the game, the situation. What we need um, as a team, if we need a spark, or if we just need to move the ball, get the first down, keep going. So just being smart at managing the game.
Josh, obviously it seemed like they keyed a lot, Kentucky keyed a lot on Jalen in that game. Are, are you expecting that to be more the case if you feel like you can have more opportunities to run because they're going to put more attention on stopping him? You'll have more more chances in the zone, right? Uh, just, I mean, um, teams, you know, they just got to play honest, got to play both ways. So all it is is just trusting your keys, trusting your reads, and, and making smart decisions with the football. So you can't really think about that. You know, I'm going to get a chance to win this, this play or anything. Just, just read it out and, and trust the system and trust, and trust the play. Okay, thank you. We'll have the players off to...